hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tessie and you're welcome to another video so in this video I'm going to be talking about the things I miss about Nigeria like things that are making me seriously miss Nigeria compared to this place like yeah things that are making me homesick so the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the food of course understand the fact that we have african market here you can easily go to african market to buy some of those food but aside the fact that african market like things are more expensive there aside that because of course things are now expensive in nigeria too but you know like number one is the fact that you cannot get like it's not everything that is actually available like for example cow skin it's been long i ate cow skin the last one i ate was the one i brought from nigeria and then after it finished have not had access to it so i'm very sure that of course there are cow skin in like some um african markets so but it's not exactly about the food stuff itself but it's about the food itself like you know for example like having nigerian restaurant around like i mean i miss pepper soup i miss goat and pepper soup i miss catfish pepper soup i really miss pepper soup i miss pepper snail oh my god i really miss pepper snail i miss amalag begiri and we do like proper proper food proper yoruba meal or proper nigerian meal like i really miss it like because even if you prepare it yourself you know there's that buka taste there's that buka feeling like there's just something about it like i really miss buka like in case if you don't know what buka is buka is like what they call you know like restaurant like a proper traditional restaurant in nigeria not like all these tush ones like proper traditional restaurant they call it buka so like i really really miss that like, all those buka malagwe and we do it orishi rishi you know all this in around like different part of meat and all of that like i really like go to meet all of those things like i really really miss it like i just really wish i could just like go to a proper buka right now to like get a proper nigerian meal. like i really 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 miss the food like i just thought of things to miss in fact there was time that i wrote a list of like things i'm going to do when i go to nigeria and i remember that one of it was to there's one woman who sells like um you know she has a buka and she's very popular we call her grandma everybody call her grandma like i wrote to the that okay i'm going to visit grandma and i'm going to like eat I'm like we and we do with goat's meat and everything at our place. I wrote that I'm going to get like buy pepper snail. I wrote that I'm going to you know buy pepper soup, like goat and pepper soup, all of those things. Like I really really miss the food. Even up to agege bread, like as small as agege bread is, I really miss agege bread because like most of their bread here is sliced bread. Of course they have agege bread in like proper Nigerian um African market, but like we don't have African market here, like in Birmingham. The closest one is at Atlanta so it's only when i see someone going to atlanta that's when i like send the press okay so buy so i just tell the person buy things but like the the african market we call african market here is actually an asia market but they have like a section for african food so of course because it's just a small section they don't really sell like lots of things like lots of nigerian food like that lots of nigerian food stuff but like most importantly i really wish like there's a nigerian restaurant around here where i can just like order for food or something like i really really miss that another thing i really miss about nigeria is owambe ah god i miss owambe so if, if you don't know what owambe is owambe is nigerian party like just normal nigerian party nigeria is known for parties especially the yorubas like they party a lot yoruba is a tribe in nigeria like they love owambe they love like i really miss proper one bay i miss the sound the beat the music oh my god you know the color the clothes the gilly the like everything you know when you do your makeup you tie your gilly and everything and then like what i miss the most is the song like the song the talking drum you know that OMB feeling like I really miss OMB. I really miss going for OMB. Like we don't have anything like that here. Like even if you attend a Nigerian wedding year, they do it like I mean they've they've mo like everything here is modernized. Like you don't have like the proper you cannot have the proper OMB here. Although I have a colleague who schools in like um like a place close to Maryland, and then because I heard that Maryland has like lots of Nigerians, so I heard that like the the party like parties in maryland is very similar like the parties i miss in nigerian state is very similar to oambe in nigeria so they also have like all these musicians they call one like proper nigerian musician no like person said that when he went for one of them that like, it was just like like proper nigerian one but like it's very very rare yeah. so i really miss like 
attending you an O and B. Like I can't wait for the next time I'm going to attend an O and B. Especially maybe a wedding ceremony or something. I can't wait. Like I miss a proper O and B. Another thing I'm going to be saying I miss is the social life in Nigeria. Like US is very boring compared to Nigeria. Like the thing is in Nigeria, if you have money, you enjoy. If you have money, you enjoy life. If you have money, like you really enjoy. And even if you don't have that, like even if you don't really have money, you still enjoy. Even if you don't have money at all, you see, like you still be like your social life will still be okay compared to here. Like here, you can have like lots of money, but like there's nothing. Like this place is boring. Like I really miss, you know, I really miss going to like you know even even going to the beach like it's so different of course they have beaches here of course very well but like going to beach in nigeria is way more fun like it's way more interesting like especially when you go during festive period oh my god Some years back i went to is it like Gushi beach or something in nigeria like during festive period it was so interesting you know there's pika everywhere people playing music lots of people playing in water and I'm, like it's just so fun like it's so fun it's also interesting and then i've been to pick i've been to a beach here in the united states before but it's, it's not even like it's not even close to like that experience like that nigeria experience because like yeah you know that kind of thing they just lie down under the sun you know like americans white especially they like to like stay under the sun and then like nobody's really playing inside the water there's no music or something like if you go into the water say like you're just the only one just going back and forth inside the water like except if you go with your friends like lots of your friends and nigerian friends but like i mean it was fun that day but it was not as fun as like nigeria beach like Nigeria is just so interesting. You know, you can hang out with your friends. You can go to the mall. Like, you can go to play game. Like, even as little as going to your friend's house down the street. Like, I really miss that. Like, you know, maybe you have a friend. Oh my God, I really like. I really really miss it. Like, you know, having a friend who stays maybe in like the third house to your house or who stays in your street, and then just going to visit the person, like playing, gisting, and everything. And person coming to greet you. Even as little as that, like I really miss that. Even to also like maybe like if you stay in Nigeria, you have like lots of neighbors in Nigeria. You know that feeling whereby you guys like you know at times like just together, maybe outside the house, outside the gate or something, and they just sit together and all of that. Like I really miss that. But like here is like you're just always indoor. If you have little Nigerians around, and then maybe you guys can still come and visit each other. But like it's not like the Nigerian this and at all. Like I really miss the social life in nigeria another thing i really 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 miss about nigeria is the accessibility to making like any style of hair i want like i feel like when i go to nigeria i'm going to like maybe make ghana even or something like that just some hair that i've really missed making because like yeah hair is so expensive like to make hair to make braid ghana even or something they're not even as good as we are in africa like it is so expensive like i really miss making ghana weaving like i'm tired of making crochet bread crochet bread wig like you know like you have different options of like hairstyles to make in nigeria like different options and then it's not going to cost you your head like it's not that expensive it's not even that expensive at all like i really really miss you know that that feeling of like just going to the salon down the street like yeah even to go to the salon you have to like book online they'll book a time for you, you cannot just walk into a salon and say well maybe some 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 um salon actually accepts walk-ins but like for most of them you have to like book and then you have to come at the time they give you and then i really miss like just walking down the streets one inside this place just make your hair and then when you are done making it you look so fine people be like oh my god you look like you look so different and then you never spend that much and then like they can make different kind of styles like different different kind of styles like i really miss that like i really miss it like when i go to nigeria i'm going to like i'm definitely going to make my hair like when i'm going i'm not going to make my hair when going you know normally like people always like to go looking fresh i'll just probably wear a wig to the, with the mindset that i want to make my hair in nigeria like i really miss that like we are really talented in africa we are so talented in africa last thing i miss about nigeria there might be other things but like that's like i remember for now the last thing is attending crossover nights oh god like for those of you who are not nigerians let me explain what crossover nights means so on 31st of december right to january 1st that night like 
in Nigeria, especially Christians, like they don't like they spend it in church. So like in church, like there are lots of people from like maybe eight p.m. on the evening of like New Year Eve, and then you know there's just this singing, shouting with people, you know all these knockouts, fireworks, banga, and all of those things, like. It's always so interesting, it's like a tradition actually. Like even people who are not like Christians who don't go to church, like almost everyone goes to church on the 31st. Like and then like you guys literally like I don't know how to explain the feeling, but you guys try like you know praise God, everything like to cross over into the new year. Like once it's twelve o'clock like this, like everyone just starts screaming happy new year like the church is always very full like way fuller than normal there's always this scream of happy new year happy new year everyone and then you just see different fireworks and all of that like it's always so like i really miss my first crossover night here it was so weird like it was so so like it was the first time okay no the second time in my life that i spent like rest of night at home the first time was during covid like lockdown lockdown so of course there was no churches were not open there was lockdown that was during covid so we streamed um from home like we didn't go for rest of night but like i saw that time like the time the first this thing i spent here was like the second time i had ever stayed at home like during course of night like it was so weird i was just at home like just on my phone it was just like every day normal day and then i was really like i was really and then i was seeing statuses of people posting pictures posting videos of them in church like you know doing course of night and all of that like it felt so weird like i really miss that i so miss that about nigeria i really miss it like it was when I got here that I realized that crossover night is actually a Nigerian thing. Like before I used to think that that's the way it is done, like in every church is in the whole world. But when I got here, I realized that that's not the way it is done, like everywhere in the world. Like it's just a Nigerian thing. Nigerians are the ones who, you know, those crossover night and all of those. Like when you get here, like everybody stays at home. Like people go for fireworks. That's how they celebrate their own crossover night. You go for fireworks, fair places, just do fireworks and then come back home and then that's all and then people just stay in door and that's all i really miss my own church i really really miss my own church i miss like all this sunday school and then i miss doing administration in church and all of that i really miss that i really miss nigeria nigeria is a very beautiful place i really pray that the country like really you know gets better better and better so that we can all move back to nigeria because Nigeria is a beautiful place. There is no place to be than home. And I honestly always see Nigeria as my home. And yeah, I always see Nigeria as my home. And I really miss Nigeria. And of course, I'll be one of those people that when they retire, they want to like they go back to Nigeria. Like I know people that like they've been here and then once they retire, they don't stay here. Like they just go back to Nigeria. Because what are you doing here? Like this place is boring. Go back to where you have your family members, where you are going to enjoy the proper life. My uncle, when he retired, he left, like, he's in Nigeria, he's enjoying life, you know, going to, like, buying palm wine, all those typical life. I'm definitely going to be one of those people that will definitely go back to Nigeria someday to settle down. But for now, we keep hustling and hustling and hustling. So, anyways, that's going to be all. If you are in the United States or if you are in UK or any other country and then you also miss some things about Nigeria that I didn't remember to make mention or that i probably didn't miss about nigeria that you missed you can mention it in the comment section let me know what you miss about nigeria and then for those of you still in nigeria that are planning to like move out of nigeria soon you see the things that you're enjoying enjoy it very well while it lasts including your family members your friends spend quality time with them because you will miss them like me i really miss my family i miss my friends i miss my people i really miss them like i always wish i spent more more time with them but i know of course i'll definitely still have time to spend so many years to spend with them so maximize everything now because yeah because you're going to miss every bit of it i promise you including the food everything you're going to miss it that's going to be all i'm going to see you guys in my next video let me know if there's any other thing you'd like me to talk about and of course i'm going to talk about it like i said so far as part of my niche so anyways, I'm going to see you all later. Bye.